What's up guys, that really girl Scott here, and we are back playing Stardew Valley. So, we're gonna head outside, and we are on the second to last day of fall or autumn, depending on what you would consider it. And we, unfortunately, might be losing quite a bit of these crops. I'm not too sure what goes on in winter, but I'm pretty sure that our hops are gonna be gone uh, whatever these plants up here. I think cranberries are gonna be No, these are cranberries. I forgot what these were Maybe grapes. I think those were grapes um, And our sunflowers will be gone Now I'm not too sure about our ancient fruit. Hopefully those will stick around because I don't know how Easy those are to get and I've been expanding kind of been kind of mapping out the area of how I want to our farms to eventually develop um, some little things might change, but for the most part, I have a very similar layout between the two areas. Um, I'm not too sure. I am going to want to put sprinklers in, so at some point, I think some of these tiles are going to have changed to maximize the efficiency of the sprinkler system. So, I, I'll figure that out when the time comes, but I wanted to get through this harvest first before I do that. Uh, let's cut this path up a little bit. This is kind of the path that I've been trying to keep. Just, I don't know. I don't know if it really helps, but, you know, when I when I traverse the area, I try to maintain this, this same section. I want to put a gate in here and finish this off. But I got some jams cooking. Uh, I believe it's both grape in there, so some grape jelly, jam, whatever. Um, I think I have to feed these little guys, so uh, three of these. I'm not- I noticed that this door opens, I'm not too sure why. Uh, if you guys know, it would be cool if you, uh, if you gave me a heads up, that'd be cool, but, um, I'm gonna pop these in here to feed these little guys. I did buy a heater so that they'll be better off in the winter. Uh, hopefully that helps out, I'm not too sure what the requirements are to have those growing. I talked about these seeds in the last episode and maybe even before that, but I've been accumulating some more minerals uh, while I was off camera, some seeds. Uh, we got a few other things. I want to do some hops with the new brewing system that we uh, we did get access to. Where is it? Uh, charcoal. Oh yeah, keg. So place a fruit or vegetable in here eventually it will turn into a beverage which is cool so I'm wondering if those hops in general will be uh, will be pretty good maybe a pale ale um, my my knowledge of alcohol is not incredibly great anyways uh, so yeah hopefully we'll be able to do that but we do need oak resin I don't know how to get that so we'll f have to find that out copper bar iron bar not too worried about that stuff but I do also want to find a way to get these quality sprinklers iron bar gold bar and refined quartz do I just have to bring quartz over and I only have three unfortunately so I may have to do some uh, some mining maybe winter is really good for mining I'm not too sure uh, we don't have any sap to collect and let's check in here Ooh, we got lots of berries oops so uh, because it is the 27th, there is a festival today, and that's one reason why I wanted to record today, to, so we could check that out. So, for the most part, I'm just going to be doing a little bit of maintenance on the farm, and then I can get back with you guys when we move over to uh, to the, the festival. But I'm going to farm this, or er, uh, water all these plants. Dog is going to bark while I do that, and I will catch you guys when uh, when the festival starts all right guys so we are headed over it is spirits eve so i guess the equivalent to what some people would consider halloween or uh, i don't know i don't know what are what are the other what are other cultures have during the end of august um interesting so what do we just for some reason, I thought I was like, I was like, are you wearing a snorkel? But snorkel, a snorkel. But I was like, oh, that's a chair. There's a chair there, because uh, I saw these two. I was like, what? Um, well, this guy. Don't get too close to the cage. I wonder if the whole. What if those guys were like at the very bottom of the, uh, of the cave? A rare crow. 
a jack-o'-lantern and a jack-o'-lantern recipe interesting not really blue fruit, i mean eh, i don't is it is it worth it i mean it's once a year i might as well i guess i guess i'm not gonna buy the rare crow maybe maybe when i'm super rich and wealthy or whatever maybe Ooh, a maze hi mr man Oh, you found me. The truth is, I got scared of it. Ha! Ha! Oh, hi. What's up? Abigail. Abigail. Whoa, creepy hands. Creepy hands. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. What a TV at the end of one of them? The vapor from this cauldron is making my head spin, but I can't seem to leave. Oh, she's doing some, uh, <laughs> some drug... Doing drugs in the maze. Okay, going this way. We're going this way. We made it to the middle. Made it to the middle. Abigail! Hi. I can't go on spiders. I'll protect you. Let's go. Let's go. I'll protect you. Ah! Just kidding. All right, so let's go. This way? This way? What is this? What is this sign? What is this sign? Is that a... What is this all about? What's this all about? That's odd. It's just a dead up end all. Blah, 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 blah. I would like to start talking uh, non gibberish, but you know. Hey, there's a treasure chest over there. Hey. Just a dead end. Huh? What? No, it's not. No, it's not. It's a trick. Oh, I have to go up? Okay. Look at that. Oh, yeah, the ring. I found a ring in the. in the. in the the mines and that allows there to be light guess what i got a golden pumpkin i don't know why i don't know why i got a golden pumpkin but i got a golden pumpkin can't go that way all right cool so we go back but yeah i found this ring in the uh in the mines and it allows me to illuminate anywhere i i walk so that's pretty interesting so now i gotta walk all the way back around what's this golden pumpkin about uh, valuable, but has no other purpose. Okay, so do I just sell it for lots of money? I mean, that's what valuable means, right? Or is it a decoration? I could put it somewhere as a decoration. You'd be like, haha, I got a golden pumpkin and you don't? What's this TV all about? That's kind of creepy-ish. I don't know. That, that seems to be like a reference to like jump scare uh, videos or something. But, anywho, I think we're good. We're good up in the maze. We did the maze thing, the shop thing. You're not going to say anything about the pumpkin, no? Good, okay. Uh, you? Hi. Um, get a scared easily. Haunted maze for younger people. Uh, mouthful of blackberries. Wow. You pig. Uh, carved it myself. Oh, well, good for you. Good for you. Okay. Hi. Uh... Okay, lost, lost interest, let's go, let's go, time to go, what are the kiddos, what are the kiddos got to say, but Aunt Marnie, I want to go in the maze, I'm not scared, hi girl sky, have you had a productive fall, yes I have, I'm wealthy, and yep, so that was a little, uh, it was okay, it was alright, ooh, look at that, my jam, my jam's on, there's that, there's that. Fantastic. I don't know if it's worth selling. Artisan goods. Gooey. For now. Oops, wrong one. For now, I think I'm going to put it in here with my maple syrup. It might it might be worth something to make a pie. I don't know. Grape jelly. So, cool. Uh, golden pumpkin. I'm going to put that in there. I don't know if there's any reason for keeping that. Other th or, you know, should I sell it? I don't know. Um, but we're pretty much good to go. Um... Episode I don't think was too, too long, but we are about to go into winter. So, actually, you know what? Let's let's do that. Let's, uh, because I don't want to make a fairly uneventful day 28. Um, so what I think I'm going to do is, off camera once again, I'm going to do all my watering, my harvesting, and whatnot. And then we can see the transition to winter and see what happens at the very end of this video. 
So, uh, yeah, like I said, I'll get back with you guys just here in a second, and we'll see, we'll see what winter has in store for us. Alright guys, very short-lived, but let's call it a day. It's only, it's only 8 a.m. I did a little bit of watering I needed to do, sold some things, and we got some money. Got some money, but let's see what winter has in store for us. First of winter, year one. Alright, alright. There's the money, honey, and what does it look like outside? Oh, winter wonderland. So, looks like everything died. Everything died? Why is this still here? Isn't that corn? Huh, interesting, interesting. So, everything died, and this tree I don't believe is going to grow in the winter, but... The the trees have lost their leaves. So other than that, I think we are we're good. I'm gonna go check on what kind of seeds we can get. Oh, it looks like all the grass is gone too. Interesting. Uh, oh, I do want to mention too. I did get the axe, so now I am fully capable of chopping these trunks. Uh, and getting hardwood as well as the lard those ones over there. I can also break those so Yeah, so things have cleared up pretty interesting I actually like that because that also gives you the opportunity to plan for Maybe the future you don't have to do all the cutting wasting a whole lot of energy in the winter of grass if you're looking to expand Interesting interesting. So let's go check out the seeds and let's see if any fruit has dropped. Fruit or whatever. Oop, let's uh let's go get these worms. Come on. There we go. A book. Interesting. So we gotta bring that over to the museum. Lost book. Uh but let's head over, let's see let's see what town looks like, and let's see if there's any fruit laying around. There's lots of worms. Lots of worms I've noticed popped up so far. Another book? Huh. All right, lost book. Let's just take a quick glance up here. Oh, these are the crystal fruit. Okay, so these these drop in the winter. So it wasn't that special when we found them in the cave. All right, so let's head back down and let's see what kind of seeds we uh, we will be finding. Just wanted to look down here, see if there's any fruit, any drops. Oh, we need 10, 10 minutes. Okay, nothing, nothing. Okay, we'll do one loop around. Looks like we can go in the store now. So let's go on in, and hopefully, oh, I can also can expand my uh, my pack. All right, so grass starter, sugar, wheat, flour, rice, oil, vinegar. Looks like winter is going to be very slow. Trees. I guess you just invest in trees. Grass starter. Um, I wonder if we're going to need this to start growing grass again when spring comes. Um, I think I'm going to buy like six of these just to put some patches up when spring arrives um, if grass doesn't grow. Not too sure how that works. But uh, sugar, wheat flour, rice, oil, vinegar. So we already looked kind of through this. I am kind of interested in starting our farm out really good in the spring so i might purchase some of our fertilizers and retaining soils and whatnot i do have a bit of that back at the farm but it would be nice to start off really nice in the spring and have a very uh very uh successful farm so i guess at the moment we don't need to Ooh, do I want to spend the $10,000, though? I'm not sure. I don't think I need it. I don't think I need it. Maybe in the spring we'll get it when the farm, you know, is, is brought back and all that fun stuff. But it looks like this is going to be a, a gathering season, A you know, whether it be in the mines or out and about picking up, uh, you know, shells or whatnot, some other stuff. So... I guess it's going to be it for the episode. I'm going to do a lot of farming, some mine or not farming, but some mining, some gathering and whatnot. And 
I guess I will catch you guys next time because uh, maybe something we can do in the winter is I'll build this bridge and we can go across. But winter is probably going to be very uneventful, so there may not be too many episodes in winter. Maybe a mine, maybe an exploration, something along those lines. But for the most part, I think we are good. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, Stardew Valley is fun. It's fun. I definitely I have this this little addiction for it, and I'm I'm cool with that. Anyways, thank you guys. Until next time. Blah.